All right, guys, so another quantum computing stock, IonQ, we're taking a look at this name today, which is up 11% almost, 10.8, 47. This is your resistance, 48.50. Well, is it is it looking like a bullish stock? I mean, if you're fighting this name right here, I mean, probably it is looking, uh, not looking like a bearish chart at least. But what I was following for the last a few weeks with this name is just purely it was on my watch list just to have an idea of what the in, in, in general like all quantum names are doing. But at the same time, this stock has gone up 34 times in the last two months or so, just like every other quantum names. But another thing is I this today's move was a little bit um, unexpected for me in general because I thought it could just chop around and it was coming down on a daily but we'll switch to it uh, in a bit but pay attention to the volume like it pushes with a very high volume up until 35 and volume disappears it just chops around and then all of a sudden volume comes in and it breaks out all the way to these 46 dollar levels and then again, as soon as volume disappears, last two weeks, we know pre-Christmas week and then pre-New Year week, uh, the volume was twice lower than it had uh, during these times where our stock pretty much was moving higher. I don't like the way the stock moves. That's why I don't trade it. I don't remember trading it, but I was watching for some sort of a breakout or maybe even breakdown. So I was not looking uh, at this name to the upside today, but it did push overall with uh, small caps and overall market tried to bounce today too. So if you're watching it above 48, can it break out? Yeah, possible, absolutely. But uh, there's a little bit of a negative divergence uh, regarding, I mean, if you watch MACD, I mean, this is something I keep an eye on just to have an idea. Is trend still strong or is it trying to reverse? on a four hour chart, if it tries to bounce, break out of this level with a relatively low volume, then I would be cautious uh, to trade it to the upside. Uh, just like right here, right? So it doesn't mean much when momentum is there. Look at the negative divergence as well. Stock tried to push higher and higher while MACD was pretty much declining. and you saw a bit of a correction from $40 to $30. Maybe something like this happening here as well. You can see as stock is trying to make higher, probably if it does break out 50, maybe goes to 55. And you see this MACD do, um, again, downtrend while stock is uptrending. Maybe you will see another drop to 40 bucks after hitting the 55 maybe. But I'm watch. I'm basically cautious with these names. These names, I was looking at the again. I don't want to fall into this one. It's just pretty highly shorted stock, right? Look at the revenue. It's, it's ten billion dollar stock, three hundred and twenty four employees. I mean, last year, twenty twenty three, they made like twenty two million dollars, and in twenty twenty four, yeah, they maybe they maybe they made a little bit more, thirty million dollars. But they still burn cash. Uh, do they dilute? Well, I looked at dilution. There's not much of a crazy dilution happening, but it would be very smart if they do dump some shares uh, at these levels. They have done a little bit from 2022 to 2014, probably like 14 million. There's not much they actually diluted actually, which is kind of good news, I guess. Um, at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on SEC filings. I'm not seeing much on SEC. So last time they dropped uh, 8k 20th of december that was it pretty much and there's not much happening with um okay so they did they ask for some sort of an extension of a 10q or something but you can go through this i didn't read this one but uh, i'm not seeing any offering so that's that's what something i was looking for but it's very highly shorted so look at the short volume percentage daily 57%, 64, 59, 62, 59, 57. I know it's tempting to short it. But for me, I like when these stocks try to push like this, I like either very sharp move to the upside, not like a choppy grind up a couple days and down a couple days move. I don't like to go short these sorts of uh, moves. 
But if it tries, breaks out, and I want like parabolic move, I maybe go freaking test 60 bucks and then flush down, something like this. And then if it starts like reversing, then I would love to join to the downside, but I'm not able to read much off of option activity either. 80,000 calls traded today, 40,000 puts traded today. And there are some calls coming in. There are some $50 strikes. There are some $60 strikes for January. But it's, there's not much going on with the option activity either. So probably, uh, yeah, be, be a little bit cautious with this name as it tries to push higher. Uh, no news, absolutely nothing. It's just pure momentum stocks. Uh, none of the quantum names had any news. It's just purely been driven by options and momentum. So next week, if overall market, if we see volume come back into S&P 500 and large cap names, because well, earnings about to kick in pretty soon, these names should start fading, okay? So this is what I'm watching for IonQ. There's not much to cover about. Is it trying to break out? Yeah, looks like it. Can it get back above 50? I think so, it can push. Uh, this is the resistance I'm watching from here for the stock. Let's see what it does next week. Next week is a full week. Uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching.